we really should have taken care of a long time ago, like North Korea, Iran, Afghanistan, ISIS, and the revisionist powers that threaten our interests all around the world. Do you guys know what this represents? What? Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm, the calm before the storm. We have the world's great military people in this room. What storm is the president? You'll find out. <laughs> It's the calm before the storm right here. Hey there, brothers and sisters. It's Miss Dana Ashley. Just a quick video to let you know my thoughts about the PSYOP that is Eminem making his uh, political voice be heard about Trump. As if we need someone like Eminem to give us political advice, the man who turned on hundreds of millions of young kids to killing your girlfriend and stuffing them in the trunk of your car, or um, Ativan and Percocet and popping pills became a household knowledge after this person's Illuminati-backed art <laughs> became popular. And while you probably already know that I'm a believer that every president that is in charge at this point is a puppet, I want you to be aware that this type of propaganda when you see such a popular person as Eminem with easily hundreds of millions of huge fans you have to question it and his message is essentially not only to stir up the pot of hatred towards what in my last video I just was talking about happening which is hatred towards Christians towards nationalists even though we know that Trump isn't necessarily showing the fruit of, um, of a Christian. Let's put that on the side for now. But the point is that it has a very real purpose of stirring up dissidents between the people of this nation, for we know a nation divided cannot stand. And we should also know then that this is not by accident. And I want to draw your attention to one particular line within this freestyle roast, or whatever you want to call it, besides telling the world that he would essentially harm him physically and uh, throw him against the wall until he sticks. He made mention of what Trump would do, which is foreshadowing. Um, we already know that it is prophesied that America is Babylon and that we will be burned by fire. Well. This is a foreshadowing. He says that Trump will stir up a nuclear war. But we better give Obama props because what we got in office now is a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. And while the drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down, he'll just gas his plane up and fly around to the bombing stops. But we better give Obama props. With all of the dreams and visions of complete and total civil unrest, of people having dreams of a race war between blacks and whites, right before the nuclear war happens, this is to be noted. My, I had a dream that Donald Trump started a war between black people and white people. And it started a big war. I mean, it was a race war. Blacks and whites were going at it. Then after that, I saw him having another meeting. And then after this meeting, he started a war with different states, Russia, China. Jesus Christ gave me a dream. And in this dream, I was shown a civil war in America. A civil war was happening. So much horror is going to begin. And brothers and sisters, we will have to make a choice. And we cannot serve two masters. We're going to have to choose. Eminem is showing you who he belongs to. He belongs to the New World Order, and he's being used mightily by them. The purpose is to create dissidents amongst people. Do not pick right. Do not pick left. Do not fall for it. See it for what it is. Pick the one, the only one, who can get you out of this. Draw near to him, for our time is nigh. God bless you. I love you guys.
It's the calm before the storm right here.